Morning guys, it's 10.05, first sale of the day. No Callum, no Alex, that's why the office is nice and peaceful. I found a thing called Hashtag United. Now the boss is back, Mikey. Shit, he's about to go down. Got a few big chains here, half a kilo. Fine, fine, fine ass example. How our watch should be kept. He's so sharp, I don't even want to tell him. We're back in. No Callum, no Alex. That's why the office is nice and peaceful. Harmony, nice energy, new week, new vibe, all that. Energy, yeah. energy. So I'm currently changing a Richard Mill strap for a climb. Very fiddly. Gone from a dark blue to a powder blue. RM10 and white gold. Just came back from a service. Cost an absolute fortune. Which strap do you like, guys? The powder blue or the royal blue? I'm not quite sure. I don't really like blue, so. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the RM10, to be honest. Like, I, I'm a big fan of the, the titanium model, not so much the rose gold one, but I think it's a, I think it's probably one of the best sizes. The, it's weird because my favorite size is the RM30, which is bigger than this. But my favourite Richard Mill is the RM67, which is a lot thinner than this. So, two different types of pieces. I like them both. Any Richard Mill is good time. You know, I just think it's a bit of a, a bit of a baller's watch. I said, I'll go back to what I said before in one of the old episodes. I think it's a. I'm not gonna say actually. It's a you money watch. We know. So that's sick watch. Morning, guys. It's 10:05. First sale of the day, took a deposit on a 219 root beer. He's coming tomorrow to collect it. This is the ATA. Uh, yeah, are you here? Okay. I wouldn't if, you are set blame, on, yeah. if you are set on a 2003 or a 85, I can source them for you. Yeah, okay, fine. This one, slight issue, there's a scratch on the glass, but it's yeah. easily replaceable. This, this, I wouldn't get it if it's blingy. This would be way too flashy for me, but it's good to see the size. So this is 2019. And this is a 40 mil. 40, yeah. 2019. 19. Okay. So there is quite a, a lot of difference. No, it's not. I don't know what I size. I feel like there's a difference in obviously the weight. Can you Seeing them next to each other time. makes me lean back towards the 40 again. Or it's a 41. It's 40 mil. 40 mil. We, I did have a 41. I sold it on the weekend. It was yeah, the um, Arabic Wave Doll. Okay, stunning yeah, watch. Yeah, it's yeah. a 2012 box and papers. Yeah, so when you see them next to each other like that. Yeah, well, there, there is, but at the same point, this doesn't look enormous. I mean, I don't have anything crazy. What have I got now? This is quite a big one. This is like, this is making me feel that's even bigger than 40, isn't it? What's that? 41? That's two? big, isn't it? Yeah. I thought that yeah. could be like a sky dweller. So, anything I'm used to wearing in comparison is going to feel tiny, isn't it? So, I wonder if going 36 is going to be too big yeah, a jump. I'm just looking at that. That could even be bigger than that. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that's going to be... So this is a 42 mil, I feel like this, that could be like a 43, 44, maybe. Crikey, I've killed myself, haven't I? Yeah, what, the other one I'm looking at, um, ideally, going to something yeah. from 36, give me a bit of room for something else, would be a rose gold Datejust with a blue tid and um, Jubilee. And that would obviously be in a 40. Wimbledon? Probably or, either the Champagne or like the... Mosaic was my first choice, like the um, white silvery one. So I've got these, I'm going to try them on. I can always, I can always source yeah, sure. them. If I don't have them in stock, like this morning we never had a root beer in stock. Yeah, but I called up, it was like, I want a two bad 19 root beer. Made a couple of phone calls. Within 10 minutes I had the watch yeah, so these are These are all, these are all, um, uh, 40s, aren't they? 40, yeah, they're 41 mils. 41 mils. Yeah. Yeah, definitely prefer the uh, Jubilee. Yeah, definitely. The dream would be to get a 1985 Day Day Gold. Is it? Is it? 
a gold dial and a champagne dial, or is it is the champagne the gold? Same dial. Right, but so you got the it's a gold, you can call it a gold baguette dough, you can call it a yeah. champagne baguette dough, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah. rolls off your tongue. Yeah, see that? And then I think I can sort of yeah. justify getting the smaller one in the day date if I've got a bigger one in the date just. Mm. And then I literally would keep that as a commemorative thing, year I was born, like just nice, stick it away. I'm trying to, th I'm basically trying to think of something romantic to attach to it, which I'm sure everyone does. So the things I've looked at is my date of birth, yeah. the day I turned 18, mm -hmm. or it would be the birth of um, my son, which is only 2020. So then it would be to look at one of these, 2020. Yeah. Um, probably, I guess, do you only call it a baguette, darling, if it's got the diamonds, or do you call it a baguette if it's just the actual baguettes? Like actual baguette, so you can get a pave. Which is just standard. A full diamond dial. Right. No, yeah. more, I mean just like more like that one. You know, That's so a baton. So you can get a Roman, the one you, I'd probably you get, get a champagne it. Roman or you can get a champagne baton or a champagne right. baguette. Champagne Roman, yeah. Would, someone said to me that they like, they feel like the Romans are like a better longer term thing, where, whereas or personal preference, I probably prefer the batons. Just looks a bit more classic and minimalist, you know? I might actually, let me see if I've got an old photo yeah. on, my, um, on my phone of a champagne. Like, I just I have. can't believe the difference in jump from what I'm wearing now. That's quite a, it's a massive, quite a watch. massive I didn't watch. I didn't realise how big it was, really. It's a big watch. So this just feels like a really nice size to me, the gold. I always felt like it would feel massive because it's all gold and being quite imposing, but it's not at all, I don't think. So they got that one, the Roman, silver Roman, which is quite nice. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. That's nice, yeah. Uh, I just don't like the Roman look, the look, look at as much in the day date. Is that the only 36 day date you've yeah, got? Yeah, yeah, cool. That's the only one I've got, but just but they're quite, they're quite easy to get hold of. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's a few of them around it, and if you want a Pacific year, yeah, 1985, I can get you one, no problem. That's all. the one I'm trying to get. I'm just trying to get it. Do you want it sensibly. plain? It's like plain button, yeah, champagne, think so. Roman, think so. whatever. And we just pull out the ones I've been looking at on my phone, Perfect. and I'll show you the ones I've been looking at. Thanks for seeing me on the short notice, boys. You're I'm welcome anytime, mate. To just jump in. What and podcast just... was you uh, filming? Uh, with Don Gordon. McGregor, you know the guy who founded Social Chain with Stephen Bartlett. I founded a thing called Hashtag United. Like oh yeah, 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 not that hashtag. And then I do golf content as well, so I make oh, look, golf videos. Oh, golf content. Oh yeah, I play yeah. golf. Yes, yeah. Yeah. See, really. Get on, get on, get on, Seb on golf, boys. Get on. What was it? Seb on golf is my golf golf channel. Do you play golf yourself? Yeah. Do you play off? Play off too. God, fucking hell. Yeah. I don't want to go around with him and take all money. That's the dial that I was looking at in the date just. Oh, that one. Yeah, that's the new one. Yeah. Or that one. Yeah. Which is that sun the dust, sun dust. And then in the day day, it was probably like that one if it's a bigger one. Yep. Which is like, that, that's the 40, right? No, yep. that's the 36. Uh, 36. That's yeah. 36. Uh, or it was, well, yeah, the same, same as that basically, but bigger. Yeah, okay, well, let me know. That, that would be, I don't know, I'm, I'm really having second thoughts now about this 36 because it just feels so small. But is it because it's in contrast to this? Because that just feels like a nice, it doesn't feel too imposing. That's 40 mil. Yeah, 40 mil. It doesn't yeah. feel anywhere near as big and imposing as I thought it was going to. But my other theory is, I don't really, my, in my mind I had like around the 30s to spend on a watch yeah. or on two. And I was thinking, oh, if I could get the smaller one, like an older one, mm. like around 15-ish, then it gives me hopefully yeah. enough room for the date, uh, the date just. But now I'm thinking, is that just too bloody small? Whether I just... My other theory is that I don't know if I'll wear this one that much. It'll be more that's, to like that's special occasions. Problem, yeah. And then if I get two, I've got one I can wear and another yeah. one. But it's just really bloody small. I need something to sell me that it's not too small on the 36. I'm sure there's bigger people than me that wear the 36. Yeah, I've seen loads of people wear yeah, these yeah. watches. It's just what yeah. you feel comfortable with, really. I really like it being nice and light, but it just feels so tiny. So I would wear, I would personally yeah. wear 36. Yeah, I like that. Well, I'll, I'll wear anything, and that's just me. But if I can get them the both, then it makes sense, right? Then yeah. I'm making a compromise on the size. But it's then just... The day just you'd like 2020. Yeah, I want the day just newer, 20, much newer, yeah. yeah. 2020 onwards, I'd say, yeah. yeah 2020 would be a nice one, because it's the year of my son's birth, but yeah. equally new is fine as well. Um, and then 85. 85 is the one. Or 2003, did you say? Yeah, that's I the one. I think 2003, I don't think you're going to get within the 15 grand. No, I'm not. It's going to be 20, it's, isn't it? Because yeah. it's a solid link yeah, yeah. instead of... So that's the other thing is, am I better paying more for the 20, 
2020, uh, 20, 20, uh, yeah, 2003, because so it's a better watch, like a different movement or a different so if it makes set. newer movement, it'll be double quick and the links will be more solid than 85. Mm. Obviously, an 85 has been around for quite a long time, yeah. so it's quite hard to find one in think good I, nick. I think I'd just wait if I'd see what's the best option. If like yeah. you guys find one that's a really good option in the 85, then yeah. happy days. If you find one that's 2003, then I can I, I can justify my mind then, do you know what I mean? All right, well, I'm gonna have to shoot this podcast, but thanks for seeing me. Really Seb, good do you mind putting your number in my yeah, work phone yeah, and then we can like talk through yeah. WhatsApp. You yeah, send yeah, over yeah. the watches which, that which, you're which, after, this one here. So Seb's just come through, he's after a 36 mil 1985, that's his actual date of birth. Um, and also he did say he doesn't mind a 2003 which is when he turned 18 so it's quite sentimental to him the 40 mil he's not too sure if he wants a 40 mil because the size of his wrists but he had iwc on which was like a 43 mil so a 40 mil day date i don't think will be a problem with a day date 40 i think he wants a 2020 plus which is his son's birthday i think if i remember correctly that's what he said so I don't have the 85 in stock, but there's something that we can source. There's loads of them available in, in the groups that we trade in. So I'm going to be on that for the rest of the day to try and locate in one. And hopefully we can get the deal across the line. Judd, what was we just saying at the back about how uh, quiet it is? Can, can you hear that? I can actually hear like, the local traffic because no Kerm and Alex. What? With, with, thank you, H. We've done more deals without them. It's oh. been a pleasure. Shade. This is a, I don't care if Shade's been thrown in. <laughs> it's me and Rio and H and yourself. We've stepped up and it's, I, I feel, I feel rather, I'm boasting right now. This is just a <laughs> lovely environment to be in. The lounge is so chilled. It is. You know, look, have a look, look. So quiet, vibes. Look, no mess, look, no Alex. Look, it's look clean. The table is, look, it's just absolutely ridiculous. No, um, now clippings anywhere? That's that's disgusting. It shouldn't be <laughs> happening in this showroom. But, you know, each to their own. As long as long as they do as what we're all meant to be, they can clip. <laughs> clip toes. Yeah, and clip toes and nails. <laughs> no, it's, it's, I'm just really, really enjoying being here without them two. <laughs> in my, oh, as bad as that sounds, this is just wonderful. <laughs> well, that's why he rung me straight away, stressing, saying he's had a run. And that's, yeah, can I just say, that is why we, he was here for two days without us, right? Two days, and he's now had three days off because he can't handle it. And it was too much for him. And you know, I didn't come in the Monday either. Yeah. He texted me Monday night. He went, are you in tomorrow? I said, yeah, I'm in, I'm open up, done. He went, okay, good, because I'll go somewhere, I'll be, in, I'll be in a bit later. He so, had the biggest run. So, and let me tell you something about the no mess and being quiet. That to me says you weren't busy. Because when me and Cal were here, there's things going on. The screw more drivers might be left out, but we're constantly doing things. We're constantly making sales, taking links out, taking this, taking that. So that there shows me it was a bad couple of days and um, it weren't the sort of positive energy that people want when they come up here. I agree. What are you doing? I mean, we won't go into sales, it's muggy, it. but... Going to sales is muggy. Yeah. Um, he knows. He, he knows, and he's wrong. You know. He's wrong. Oh, you know. Oh, you know. <laughs>
the, the couple that come in to purchase it also had some scrap gold that they wanted to put against this so we weighed it we gave them a price they was happy with it and then we put it towards this so not did we just not money off for them we also took their old gold off of them and put it towards some new stuff for them and also don't forget if you have any old gold or anything knocking around that you don't want anymore bring it in to us we'll be happily take it off your hands and if you like a set like this or any other sort of set drop us a message we'll be happy to look after you right so i'm going to show you three rings at three different price points that'll be under five thousand under ten thousand and under fifteen thousand the first ring which you'll see over here is for under five thousand so it's a round 92 point so just shy of a carrot it's a gvs one on a gia so you know exactly what you're getting with a gia and this ring is four thousand nine hundred and ninety five second ring we've got over here is a lovely princess cut it's a 101 carat HVVS1, and it's on a WGI cert. So WGI are a smaller local company. They still know what they're doing, but they're not GIA. This is a lovely ring. It has two 20-point princess cuts either side, and this ring is 7,500. And third, and finally, for the certain stones over this side, is probably my favorite stone we've got in stock at the moment. It is a 151 carat DSI1. Beautiful stone. I don't know how GIA have given it an SI1. I think it's so clean. I don't know how it didn't make VS. As you can see, it's set in a lovely diamond-shouldered white mount. And this ring is 11995. Right, so I'm not finished. We have a fourth bonus ring. This is not certed. It's very, very cheap. It's a lovely little ring, and it's got a little yellow color to it. It's a 102 oval, set in an 18 karat gold plain mount. Beautiful little ring, nice and cheap for 2,495. Just thought I'd show you something a little bit different. So if you're interested in any of those rings, drop us a message at Trotters Jewelers UK or give us a call on our number, which is down here, and we'll gladly help you out. So another little tool we've just got in at North London is this lovely box of diamond mats. So this has got loads of different shapes, sizes. So if you come in and you're not sure what you want, we can show you a few different options. These are available in different colors. These are available in platinum, yellow, white, rose. But it just gives you an idea of what you like, whether you like diamond shoulders or a halo, maybe both split shoulders. So this is so you can actually pick up a ring and actually have a look and feel and go, oh, that's the ring I like. And then we just pick a diamond that goes in the middle. So we can do a completely bespoke ring for you, or we've got mounts readily available and you can pick a diamond that suits you to go in one of these. If we had a diamond available in store and you just loved one of these mounts that are in here and we didn't need to change it or do anything, we can have that done in a day or two because we just need to have a stone set. If you want something bespoke, you're probably looking if we want to do it right, three to four weeks, but that is always an option. But just remember the spoke option normally does cost more money. It's a lot more time involved. We have to do CAD designs and we have to pay someone to make a one-off. So if there's something in here you like, you'll save a lot of money and time. So if there's anything in there you like the look of or you like the idea of coming in and seeing some of these and then picking a stone out drop me a message so yeah just bought these two in these are lovely two little cushion cuts we have got a one carat dsi2 on gia and a 1.6 esi2 and even though they're si they're gia si so they're really clean they're not like a local sir I mean, you can see marks with a loop, but so eye clean. I mean, what woman's not going to want that on her finger? Now the boss is back, Mikey. Shit is about to go down. There'll be no more easy days. Everyone's on form. No more Tilly, eyes. look, we've got Tilly cleaning the glass already. H is out there getting the stock ready. Well, good. It speaks for itself, doesn't it? You can tell, you can tell Alex is back. There's been about Wellies. five deals to come through to make me feel sick. Hey, I've been absolutely snipered this month, Mikey. <laughs> I lined up five deals from when I was away and I've come back and all been sold. So although I was on holiday, I'm always still working. And whilst I was away, I sold a few watches uh, a Blue Sky, a Pepsi, a Datejust 41, of which whilst I was away, people have been stealing my sales and invoicing the customer to make them look like they're doing really well this month. But when I'm in charge, I know exactly what's going on and I know that people have snipered my deals. 
We just bought this sold and I've just sold <laughs> Just bought this watch in. An absolute fine, fine, fine ass example of how a watch should be kept. 1993. It's so sharp, I don't even want to turn the bezel because I'm going to catch my fingers. Our original sticker on the back. Original sticker on the back. I don't know if you guys can Zurich see that. Zurich papers. Zurich papers. Obviously, a very wealthy Swiss man back in 1993 strolled upon this Rolex showroom, probably in fine chinchilla. I think it's that, that gent. <laughs> okay, sorry. Completely wrong. <laughs> I've, got, I've got another gent who... Might be a little bit of chinchilla involved. Maybe a chinchilla. We never know. But mwah, this is what we like to see Eight. this is just yeah. sort of showroom right? condition this is showroom condition i can't believe how sharp uh, it is i don't think it's ever been worn why is it not i'm putting it out i don't think it's ever been worn i'm following up on that that is so sharp no, no, my station's wow. good. absolutely incredible that is so Me. sharp that is so so sharp that's what's brown it is as i said i don't think it's ever been worn it i can't even see Four links, absolute four links. Probably never seen a screwdriver. What do you go for? Oh, we've got the day date as well. Yep. Oh. So sharp that is. That is so sharp. I just hate the screws inside. Yeah, it's got pinholes, that's the only thing, but. It's so clean. Me, look at that. It's just always gonna be a classic that I watch it. And, right, it's napkin. So another deal through the door today. So we've got a lovely, beautiful, untouched, unworn, mint condition. Yachtmaster 40 millimeter, 18 karat yellow gold. Like, as Jazz said, just absolutely mint. Very, very, very hard to come by while these in this condition. Um, and then you've also got a mint 1998, day date 36 mil, original sticker on the back, absolutely mint, no sag. It's almost like brand, look at that. It's so mint, it's, it's got such a less sag, it's almost going the other way. In your time, that we've been in the business, I don't think I've ever seen two watches. That uh, no, that's proper collector's watches. But, but I will say, it's a bad example. Or, or, or they're, they're so good, but they're so unworn. So they're both They've not been almost 30 years old, they've never been worn. So are you telling us, Cal, are you telling the viewers we need a nice buyer to come and love um, these watches? Um, no, right, so right now, this is the perfect opportunity for someone to come and buy. Come and adopt these watches. One or two, or both or singles, whatever you want to do, and wear the life out of it. Because these have been sitting there untouched. They need love. Right I now. I can almost hear them. They're, they're, they're crying to me, they're Karen, crying. That, that one there on the left is a, is a hers, and that one there is a his. This could be a, a wonderful set for a-, a, a His and hers. Wow. Who's going to come buy it? And if you are going to buy it, you're going to be on camera, because Mike's going to film you on camera, because they need to be loved. So is this for a his? Is this for a hers? His, hers, his, hers. 1993. My birth year, absolutely mint, a lovely, lovely example of something that's been bought, collected, and warm. A 1984 Pepsi on my wrist that's been heavily worn, heavily battered, patinaed, bezel fade, spider web dial. But that's just two examples there of, you know what I mean? <laughs> so to start off fresh, so the main point I was trying to come across when in terms of these old watches. So like those two great examples of beautiful watches, like completely unworn watches, fantastic. So now's the time to buy and wear them. So in fact, I know it's 30 years old, but you're buying a brand new watch essentially. And when it comes down to when it comes down to me finding this and buying this, it I didn't want one that was new. I it had to have the character, it had to have the age, it had to have the crick bezel fade, it had to have the dial, which is the spider dial. On the older models, they used a certain lacquer that in certain temperatures and weather conditions, it actually cracked, um, which caused a webbing effect, hence the term spider dial. But now these watches are available. So again, it's a 1993 yellow gold yacht master, white dial, and a 1998 mil. Come get them, give me a call if you're interested. They're now in stock and they're ready to go. I'm lost for words, I'll be honest. It's, it's just like, it's so mint. I've never seen anything so mint. And especially to have the original model reference stickers on the back as well look so this uh, so this this customer wasn't from the uk he's from the uh the sunny uh part of uh, the world um sunny and sandy part of the world should i say um he has a bit of an old school mentality where he didn't really want to be wearing yellow gold all the time he follows in his father's footsteps as, as he says 
Um, so we part exchange for a Sid and Rose Yachtmaster 40 and a stainless steel Jubilee Wimbledon. So fairly different to what he's actually part exchanged. But again, he, he can wear them and he hasn't really got to worry about them. So but I'm really happy to have these in stock and a part of me feels like we're gonna put this in the safe. I don't know, let's see. How's it going guys? My name's Jake from the North London shop. I'm up the penthouse today and I'm going to show you three different rings at three di no, fuck. Mm -hmm. um, so it had to have one characteristic, characteristics. It had to have one characteristic. It had to have one characteristic.